Earl Mortimer College Student Radio is proud to present Sport Update. Hello listeners and welcome to our Paralympic Fiend broadcast here at EMC Radio. We have a very special guest with us today, it's Chris Holmes, MBE. Welcome Chris to the EMC. Firstly, let me give you some background on Chris before we ask him some questions about his personal achievements and the forthcoming London 2012 Olympics slash Paralympics. Chris Holmes is the most successful Paralympic swimmer in Great Britain. He is actually blind. He has won nine golds, five silvers, one bronze and competed at four Paralympics. He is also Commissioner for the Disability Rights Commission. He was also appointed Member of the Order of the British Empire in 1992 for services to sport and currently is now Director of Paralympics Integration for the 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Swimming is a great sport. Your alarm clock goes off at 4.30 in the morning. I figured if I can get up at 4.30 to swim, I can get quite a lot of studying, quite a lot of revision done you know, for the A-level as well. So really, that great sense of having really supportive friends, family, teachers around me, putting a great plan in place, and then when, it's, when it comes to it, you've got that simple choice, just do it. A lot of early mornings then. Yes. <laughs> After the uh, great success of the 2008 Beijing Paralympics, how will the athletes fare in 2012 <coughs> Games and who are our main prospects, do you think? It, it was truly a fantastic Olympic and Paralympic Games in Beijing for Team GB and Paralympics GB. The Paralympic team, second in the medal table, 42 gold medals. That's a great place to be coming into a home games. I think the magic thing about the team is they've got strength in depth across all the sports. So definitely there'll be some fantastic performances in the pool. Ellie Simmons defending her double gold medal title from Beijing. But it, across the whole of the sporting programme, in the velodrome, there's two ex-swimmers who've now turned to cycling, Jodie Cundy, Sarah Story. Absolutely awesome. They have got quads like tree trunks and they are going to be doing some pretty special stuff in that velodrome wheelchair basketball it's a fabulous sport wheelchair rugby people may not have come across that before wheelchair rugby is so awesome it is absolutely a physical physical get stuck in their sport so the key is there's that strength in depth across all the sport and the team have got to keep just tapping on china's shoulder just seeing how far we can get when it comes to those great performances in world-class venues, crucially with that home crowd support. Seems as though we have a a lot of prospects then. Uh, We'll conclude on this question. Have you got any advice for upcoming stars for the Olympic or Paralympic who will be aiming to compete in years to come? I think believe in yourself if you have a dream even wider than the Olympic Games or the Paralympic Games, even wider than sport, whatever your thing is, if it's sport, if it's music, if it's art, if it's writing, if it's science, if it's engineering, whatever it is, believe in it, believe that you can make it possible, tell people about your dream, get the right team of people around you to help you, to support you, to make it possible, put a plan in place and then work really hard to make it a reality. Thank you for that. Um, Chris, on behalf of Earl Mortimer College, it has been a pleasure speaking to you and with you, and can we congratulate you forever on your past and present personal achievements, and we are all wishing you a thankful success and eventful London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Thanks very much. Thank you for this. Real real pleasure. You're listening to EMC Student Radio.